Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. Today, as you can see by the title of the video, I'm gonna be talking to you about five of the most difficult things about being a doctor. I'm about to be completely honest with you and spill the tea. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, click subscribe for more videos, and yeah, come be my internet friend. So as you know, I'm a medical doctor. I've been so for a year and a few months. Um, and I love it. I absolutely love it. However, it was quite a transition to getting used to working as a doctor. Things can be very different in reality than you imagine. For any of you who are thinking of studying medicine or becoming a doctor, or any of you who already are, you can just listen and relate. Here are some of the things that I personally find the most difficult about being a doctor. Number one is the amount of paperwork. As you can imagine, there is a lot of kind of legal bits and bobs and organization that needs to happen in medicine to keep a hospital running there needs to be a lot of documentation a lot of information kept notes kept etc and the amount of paperwork is a lot and as the most junior one on the team you can be doing a lot of kind of secretary work so honestly me and my colleagues sometimes joke that we are glorified secretaries booking scans referring patients just all of this paperwork it can get a lot There's a lot of paperwork in medicine if you didn't know, so be prepared for that. And for me, it's one of the less preferred things about the job. <laughs> My second least favorite thing about being a doctor is the immovable schedule. <laughs> so your rota, you kind of live and breathe your rota. So I've missed birthdays, events. I missed my nephew's first birthday, never forget. Um, I've missed birthdays, I've missed events, people miss weddings. If you need to work nights, you have to work nights. You can't just change that. And if you can't swap it, which you very often can't, then that's your lot really. You don't get your rota until pretty late, so you can't really commit to anything in advance. And even then, sometimes the rosa can be subject to change. So as a doctor, you really do have to make a lot of personal sacrifices in order to meet the demand and in order to treat your patients and make sure that the hospital is fully staffed. So that can be awkward, especially with friends when you haven't seen someone for ages and you really want to catch up and you have to kind of cancel because you're staying late, stuck in the hospital and literally can't leave because a patient needs you, um, which has happened to me a number of times, or because your rota predetermines that you can't do that weekend. Um, people miss Christmases, but that is the way it is. So I guess I'll have to suck it up for a little bit longer. Number three of my least favorite things about the job, stress. I personally think that I deal with stress quite well. I think that I'm quite good at coping under pressure is my personal opinion. However, in work, when I'm stressed, it's because someone's really sick. Medicine can be really stressful. You can deal with high pressure situations when patients are sick, when hearts have stopped, when someone needs emergency surgery, and it can be really stressful. Now, I've learned the ways to deal with that kind of stress, but I think it is a process. And sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming and it's really important to look after your mental health to make sure that you are coping because if you're not coping, how are you gonna help anyone else? The stress of the job can be a lot sometimes and it's often one of my least favorite things when it gets a bit much. Number four is dealing with loss. I am quite an emotional um, personal person, <laughs> however, whatever that means. I love people, I get involved, I get emotionally involved, I love my patients and I find it difficult to completely detach um, and so when it comes to the end of someone's life or when I have to break bad news, that can be really difficult. It can be really difficult to have to be strong in moments of tragedy and have to kind of be the professional rather than Sarah. And obviously I do that, I've learned to do that, but then once you come away from that situation, you then have to process and learn to deal with your own grief because actually it can be a challenge when you've lost a patient who you've known for months. It can be a challenge when you've sat with a mourning family who's just lost a loved one. It can be a challenge when you're breaking bad news to a person that kind of hits close to home for you in your own personal life. So dealing with grief is a huge part of medicine and I think it's really important to consider that if you're choosing as a career or if you are in the career, making sure that you make time to look after your mental health and make sure that you're okay because you don't have to be Superman, you don't have to be Superwoman bearing the burdens of the world on your shoulders. It's okay to feel sad, it's okay to mourn when things don't go as you'd have them to go um, and that's a big part of the job that can be really tough. 
The fifth and final least favorite thing about being a doctor for me um, is the regimented training schedule. So as you know, I'm currently actually on time out of training as a senior house officer, um, but training is very regimented. So you, the way it works in the UK is that you apply for training posts within a deanery. Now, Wales is a country, but it is also a whole deanery. <laughs> so you can be sent anywhere in Wales and you kind of have to uproot your life, your friends, your relationships have to kind of deal with it as you move 100, 200 miles miles away for six months and then you move about the country and that can be really tough especially when you're applying for specialty training you can be shipped off anywhere in the country and that can be really tough to deal with that can be tough when you're trying to do family planning when you're starting a life say if you're in a relationship looking to buy a house where do you buy a house when your place of work could be within a 300 mile radius where do you buy a house there's a reason why training reaches so far and wide and why you have to move across the different hospitals to be able to get exposure so that you can learn everything that you need to know in order to be the best doctor that you can be but that is something that does affect your personal life and again there are sacrifices that have to be made in order to progress with your training within medicine which is really difficult and something that you know if I could wish it away and have it all work without it being so regimented and so um, uncertain about where you're going to be in a few years um, then yeah I would probably change that it is what it is yeah I hope that's given you kind of like an eye into what it's really like being a doctor and the things that I have found that I've had to kind of mentally adjust to and warm to since I started work and things that you can consider before going into the career or while you're in the career. Overall, I would say it is absolutely worth it. And if you haven't already seen my video of five things that I love about being a doctor, then definitely go and watch that too. Um, I love my job and I'm so, so grateful to do it and I wouldn't have it any other way. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments um, what you do. Are you medical or are you just curious? Are you just, you know, supporting me? If you're just supporting me, thank you very much. If you're thinking of doing medicine or are a doctor and have any questions or comments, then let me know and I will get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.